The three band compressor. The three band compressor is a powerful device that splits the signal into separate bass, middle and treble bands, each of which is processed by a separate dynamics section before being recombined at the output. This means the dynamics of each band can be controlled independently. For example, the bass frequencies could be compressed hard without introducing pumping artifacts in the mid-range or treble bands. The middle section of the display shows the transfer curves for all three compressors, along with gain reduction metering and the attack, release and makeup gain parameters. The main threshold for each band can be adjusted by dragging vertically over the graph. Each band can have its dynamics processing bypassed with the active button to the right, while the solo and mute buttons allow you to listen to a band in isolation or mute it altogether. Selecting a band with the band edit select controls just below allows more detailed editing of the dynamics processing in the bottom section. These functions work in exactly the same way as the advanced compressors, with the exception of the soft clip function, which now works globally across all three bands. All three dynamics processors can be reset with the reset button, while link all will force the other two bands to identical settings as soon as you make an adjustment to any one of them. The crossover is displayed at the top, Crossover frequencies can be adjusted by dragging them on the graph or by dragging the parameter values to the right, and the slope can be adjusted from a gentle 6 dB per octave to a surgical 36 dB per octave by right-clicking on the graph and dragging up or down. As a general rule, steeper slopes will sound less transparent but will allow more precise control of individual bands. Muting one or more bands also allows the crossover to be used as a powerful filter. For example, to bandpass filter a guitar sound to make it sit better in mix. It is important to set the crossover frequencies to suit the material you are processing. For example, if you are processing a drum loop, set the crossover such that the low band is predominantly bass drum, The mid band is mainly snare and the high band mostly cymbals and hi-hats. You might then decide to use upward expansion for the low band to add more thump to the kick while compressing the mid band to make the snare fatter. and possibly leaving the high band untreated. After all, just because there are three compressors doesn't mean you have to use them all every time. Alternatively, a variety of creative effects can be achieved by setting up extreme transfer curves with auto gain enabled.